Hey everybody, Battlelon here. I've been asked a bunch of times to show people how I do my recordings with my 3DS, so I'm going to show you how I do it. So first things first, uh, this is my modified 3DS. You got a little video board installed there, and that cable right there goes into the video feed that goes to the screen on the inside. Um, so yeah, so that splits off there. Um, if you want to figure out how to do that part of it, there's a guide on 3DScapture.com, so you're going to go there instead. However, this is how I have it set up on my computer right now. So, those are just the screws for the plate that you put on the back of it. But, basically this is how it works. You have this little plate that covers here. You put a USB port in at the top. You plug in uh, a micro USB cable into the computer you have. So right there I've got, got it on my computer right there doing things. And then this right here is the headphone jack on it. <clears throat> the to get the sound from the game I have to record the audio jack so I have the audio cable going around I have a, a noise filter noise filter noise filter yeah noise filter I have that there to cancel out the extra hum and hissing sounds from the 3DS and as you can see I've got it on my computer right there I mean you can hear it too that's coming straight from the uh, headphone jack of the thing and you can tell that because if I mute sound of my computer you can't hear it anymore so that's all working um you can also tell this isn't going to work anymore because I just unplugged the USB cable and I plug the USB cable back in and there's my video so that's the basic recording setup for that um so yeah you have the USB cable in your computer you download the driver from 3dscapture.com and install it and next I'm going to show you the settings that I have on my uh, different recording programs. Alright, so what we're going to go over now is how I record the 3DS, uh, how I actually capture it. Now that you've seen what it looks like, uh, my actual setup looks like, I'm going to show you the recording settings that I use. Um, the settings that I'm using now are a little bit different than before, because I actually have a second computer I use it on. Um, if you have Camtasia Studio, you can use TechSmith Screen Capture Codec, and it's awesome. Um, if not, I use the Xvid MPEG-4 codec on the bottom there. Um, I'll show you this one right here, though. Um, and I've got it just set, you know, up there. This software you actually get from 3dscapture.com. It's proprietary software made by uh, Loopy. And... <coughs> um, I'll also show you the uh, XVID one that I use sometimes too. That's what I use on the other computer. Um, I just record the top screen. I don't record both anymore. I used to actually record both screens and then crop out the picture in Vegas and only save the top part once I learned how to do that. Uh, but that is unnecessary. Um, I just set it to maximum quality. The other settings on there are fine by default. So I just use XVID. Um, once these files record and save, I uh, use them in Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, so then in Sony Vegas, I'll open that up, <clears throat> and I'll show you how I actually go through that process. I'm just going to close the capture program because it's going to take a sec for this to load up. Uh, but basically, I have a couple of presets that I use. Uh, one of them is for the Nintendo DS. One of them is for the 3DS. And I have a, a bunch of bunch of stuff. So we're just going to use one of these. Right. So this is the video file right here. Um, and by default, it doesn't fit right. That's not going to change because we're actually going to, we're going to go to properties and we're going to, the this 480p one is, one is the one I use for the Nintendo DS videos uh, to make it sized properly. What I use for the 3DS ones is I go to uh, 3DS top screen, and you can hit apply, and that'll crop it directly to the size of the screen. Um, so if you wanted to actually have it uh, recorded and uploaded in its native size, that's what it is right there. So I'll show you those settings. It's 400 by 240, um, 30 FPS. Now, if you want to do it the way I do it, um, I actually have this right here, 3DS YouTube Stretch. 
this is actually just a 720p video at 30 fps instead of 29.97 and i do that because this is actual high def this is what 720p is on youtube and how it works um, to make it fit right instead of having those bars on the side you go to properties media and then you go to where it says pixel aspect ratio and I learned this from, I think it was uh, Phoenix Master, or Phoenix Fire, Phoenix Master, I think it was. We'll put his name there. Um, you resize it to 1.067. And you do that, and it actually resizes it properly so that you can see it um, running at the right size, you know? So that's that. Um, but yeah, the last thing you have to do then is you have to export it. So you go to Render As. And I have this one, 3DS YouTube Success. Um, I make it a WMV file. So I, I made a custom template. I went to, uh, over here, I went to 8 megabits or whatever it was for 720p. That I, it was 6 megabytes per second, uh, 720p, 30p video. And you go to Customize Template, and then you're going to put these settings in. Um, quality VBR. Uh, Windows Media Audio 9.2, VBR Quality 10, then for video I have Windows Media 9, Quality VBR instead of any of those other ones. Um, I have it set to 720p, not 1080p because it actually stretches better I've found to 720p. Quality 100%, bitrate should already be set but it was at 8, and that's all that really matters for that. And then it's going to render it as that video. Uh, once it finishes, it'll be a 720p video, and yeah, that's how I record and edit my uh, 3DS videos.